I dedicate this video to Rashid Seguja, a political prisoner who has been in cancellation for more than three years. Uh, there is a Twitter battle which is going on between uh, Robert Chagrin St. Bobby and the principal of NUP and January Kaguta Museveni. We all know these are now competing for the highest office in the, in the land uh, and that is the presidency. Uh, this battle is taking place on Twitter. So in this video, I've come to talk about the Twitter battle which has erupted between uh, January Museveni and Robert Chagrin sent him, and what we may learn from the political discourse of our country. But before I talk about this, I want to let you know that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagali. There is a lot of content of this teacher. If your politics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. So that battle started when uh, there was a, 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 a musical battle between Shiba and Cindy, and Robert Chagrin sent him tweeted saying, and I quote, I want to congratulate my two sisters, Cindy and Shiba, for, for putting up such a powerful show last night. Sigenda kuogera ania wangude, but the multitudes of people who turned up to support this art. Very importantly, I hope we can all see the fake bomb scare, a creation of the police and regime to block an activity. I hope Enanga will not come to tell us that the terrorists go to sleep when other gatherings are going on, but wake up uh, when NUP countrywide tours are taking place. So that was the tour which was the tweet which was made by the NUP principal Robert Chagrin sent him Bobby Wayne. In other words, he, went, he, he said that why is it that other, other, other gatherings, including, including concerts, are taking place, yet political gatherings are continuing to be banned? I'll make a separate video on this tweet and the effects of this. When he tweeted about this, after police announcing the stoppage of all countrywide NUP tours which were declared to go around the country. So I, that is the reason why Bob Wayne came out to tweet uh, about this concert. So today in the morning, January 7 rebutted saying, saying I quote, Bobby Wayne rallies are being stopped while concerts are allowed in spite of the threat of terror bomb. This is an issue of discipline. The, the concerts are prepared. Other areas are cordoned, are cordoned off. People entering the venue go through check-ins. In other words, Genome 7 was replying to Bob Wayne that the concerts are well organized. And But I think there are two things I see in this uh, in Genome 7's tweet. One, the police, the police first came out to block these gatherings. And I did a video saying that the police cannot continue with these gatherings because they are they're acting as an opener to the people. Because in history, there is no way, there is nowhere that Genome 7 allowed his political opponents to, to organize. Okay, So uh, the issues we, which were listed by Enanga were just as an escape goat of trying to block Bobby Wines from uh, going around the country. So when the police announced this, the president is in this street, although he has not come out directly, is continuing to confirm that it, he is behind the police and what they are going to do. Where power works, Sometimes the, the, the leader doesn't come out to say what he exactly wants. He just insinuates, insinuates on something. If he insinuates on, on something, it is done by the relative authorities. For example, when uh, a country is going to do uh, uh, some exams, let me say UNEB or PLE, the president can come out to, congr to congratulate a school, a particular school. But when they are writing in national newspapers, they term it as if he has congratulated the, uh, the whole country. So by the present tweeting, 
saying that the concerts are, are, are organized in, in a very good uh, in a very good space is insinuating that Chagulani Center is, must be blocked or otherwise he must be confined in a, a hotel or a hall. But we all remember we have even a history of police blocking hall meetings. Uh, we must be prepared to see another running battle between the regime and the NUP mobilization team or the NUP political party. Of course, that's my opinion. You can also tell me what you think by commenting on this video. I'll, I'll always take time reading through your comments and if possible, sometimes I give a reply. Thank you very much. I'll see you on another one. Peace.